When Brett Kavanaugh was nominated to be a Supreme Court Justice, a survey of 1,021 Americans showed that 50.5% of them disapproved of Kavanaugh. A newspaper published an article with this headline, Majority of Americans Disapprove of Kavanaugh. Use a 0.01 significance level to test the claim made in that headline. Use the p-value method. Use the normal distribution as an approximation to the binomial distribution. So in this question here, we first should take a look at the claim. So the claim says to use this 0.01 significance level to test the claim that made in that headline. Well, the headline would then state that the claim is that half of, in this case, the proportion would represent half, meaning 0 0.50. So we're going to use the p-value method and then identify the following. Well, the sample size is given to be 1,021 Americans. We know that the point estimate is the sample percentage that disapproved of that. So we would say P is equal to 0 0.505. We know that in the claim, it's saying in the headline that 0 0.50, P is equal to 0 0.50, and the complement is 0 0.50. So let's take a look at the requirements. Well, we know that there's 1,021 that were randomly selected. We know that there's a fixed number of independent trials. And the requirements of NP and NQ greater than or equal to 5 need to be both satisfied. Well, 1,021 times 0.5 is 510.5 for both of them, which is greater than 5 or greater than or equal to 5. And therefore, we would say that the three requirements are satisfied. Okay, so now we're going to state the claim in the opposite of the claim. Now, if we take a look at the claim here, okay, it says that the majority of Americans disapprove. So that means that the claim would be that P would be greater than 0 0.5, whereas the opposite of the claim would then be that the P would be less than or equal to 0 0.5. So let's go ahead and use the claim and the opposite of the claim to then identify the null and alternative hypothesis. Okay, so we know that the, alter the null hypothesis is always going to contain the equality, and then we have the alternative. So the equality is in the opposite of the claim. So P is going to equal 0 0.5. And then the alternative is going to have the claim where P is greater than 0 0.5. So let's go ahead and put our answer here. So we know that the null is that P is equal to 0 0.5. And then the alternative is going to be P is greater than 0 0.5 check our answer and there is our result. Now let's identify the test statistic. Before we do that, let's determine whether this is a left, right, or two-tailed distribution. And the alternative hypothesis tells us that since this is greater than and it's pointing to the right, therefore this is a right tail test. Okay, and then the significance level is given to be 0.01. So therefore, the significance level alpha is equal to 0 0.01. Then we're going to find the test statistic for the proportion. So we know that the sample size, n, is equal to 1,021. Okay, we know the point estimate is 0 0.505. We know that P is equal to 0 0.5, and we know that Q is equal to 0 0.5. So let's go ahead and put it on our formula. So with a point estimate is 0 0.505 minus 0 0.5 over the square root of 0 
times 0 0.5 over n, which is 1021. And then we're going to approximate that to two decimal places. So we have 0 0.505 minus 0 0.5. And then we're going to divide that by the square root of parentheses 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. And then we're going to divide that by 1021. And then press enter. And then let's take a look at that test statistic. So here is our test statistic. And we're going to round that to two decimal places. So that's 0 0.32. Let's put in our answer here, 0 0.32, and there's our result. Now let's identify the p-value. So in order to identify the p-value, we are going to draw the bell curve. And we know that our mean is 0, and our test statistic is z, which is equal to 0 0.32, and it's a right tail test, so we're shading everything to the right. So in order to find the p-value, we're going to take the p-value and then find the test statistic of when it's greater than or equal to 0 0.32. And then we're going to round that to three decimal places. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open up StatCrunch. And so we're going to go to stat calculators and then go to normal since we have the z test statistic we're going to make sure that we're pointing the arrow to the right to be greater than or equal to and the test statistic is 0 0.32 now rounding that to three decimal places gives us a p-value of 0 0.374 so let's go ahead and put that in here 0 0.374 there's our p-value, and now let's state the conclusion. So let's first compare the p-value to the significance level. So we know the p-value is 0 0.374, and the significance level is 0 0.01. We can see here that the p-value is greater than the significance level. So if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, we reject the null. If the p-value is greater than the significance level, we fail to reject the null. And in this case, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now we need to come back and take a look at the claim. Well, the claim is that it is greater than, so it does not include the equality. So when we take a look at our options for our conclusion, Wherever it says the claim includes equality, we're going to eliminate that. And we said that it does not include equality, and we fail to reject the null. So that means it's going to be this scenario here. So this is going to be our statement, that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim followed by the original claim. So we're going to say we fail to reject the null hypothesis and that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that a majority of Americans disapprove of Kavanaugh. Let's go ahead and check answer. There's our result. And that concludes this question.